morning y'all welcome to another jaywalking um we're a little drenched this morning because it's raining but we're still outside getting it in um we got work today so i'm doing my saturday morning routine before i go clock in um it's a good thing to have a shower here because i go do my morning thing, jump in the shower here. I have clothes with me that are already inside in the locker. So I can just get showered up and go do my thing. Um, but let's talk about the race last weekend. I've been meaning to do a video all week, just been tied up with other things. Um, but we set a goal I wanted to do it in under an hour and I did I finished in 59 minutes 7 seconds and uh, pretty damn proud of myself I shaved off like something like 6.5 minutes or something like that from last year's time so that's uh pretty awesome um, I'll have a goal for next year let's say I don't know early prediction is 55 minutes or faster I think I'll be able to do that I don't want to say fairly easily but if I keep up the training that I'm doing I don't think it's necessarily going to be hard um, So that went really well. I had a couple of relatively quick miles for myself. I finished um, in the top like third of people, which isn't bad. Uh, there was like 3,600 people that did it, something like that. And not not upset at my time at all um, actually the day of I felt really good really strong I made sure I rested the legs the day before I didn't do you know 30 plus thousand steps like I do every day um, we still got an exercise but stayed away from doing much like running or weighted vest walking and stuff like that um, and I've been staying away from caffeine and the only time I really drink it now are the days that I have a race so I had what did I have I pretty I'm, I had a Red Bull so I went full like bro I guess full bro would be monster. Monster energy drink. No, actually I had a sugar-free Red Bull and uh, one of my um, gels, one of my runner's gels. So I only had like a little over a cup of coffee and caffeine. The Red Bull, I think it said it had 84 milligrams and my gel had like 40 milligrams of caffeine. I didn't really do the gel for the caffeine. That was just for the carb before the race. And uh, yeah, it worked out pretty well. Um, I think I find a, I kind of found the amount of caffeine that I need before a race without making me get jittery. And, uh, yeah, it went really good. Um, did a bit of a carb up the day before, two to, actually starting two days before, because I've been doing a little bit of a cut. Not even really a cut so much, but very slightly below my maintenance as I'm working out to 
just finished, you know, recomposing my body because there's a couple of spots that have been problem areas this whole time and rather than screwing up my hormones extremely bad like I did before from eating way under my calories for the day because I used to eat 1200 calories that's how I lost all the weight and I did that for a year and I was down to 153 I think was the lowest I got 153 pounds which isn't necessarily healthy for the amount of muscle I had on my body and everything I was looking really emaciated and was dealing with a bit of an eating disorder then um, the problem I had with eating then was I it was a combination of that and body dysmorphia like I constantly just felt like I looked fat um, even though I was you know starting to get like real thin um, because I have like the loose skin and that's not something that I'm ever going to be able to you can't diet loose, loose skin off there's no like you're not going to take a pill and get rid of it you're not going to like spot reduce loose skin wrapping yourself up in saran wrap using creams but just all the crazy stuff that I see all the time that gets pushed on people it doesn't work save your money save your sanity if you end up with too much loose skin you have about a two two and a half year period where there's something called the rubber banding effect and basically that's your skin pulling itself back to what naturally should be there now once you hit that point you can't really do much about it anymore besides maybe lift weights to fill it in with muscle um, so unfortunately because I waited until I was 40, or 40 years old, literally the day of my 40th birthday, to lose weight, my skin has been stretched out to suit a 426-pound dude. You can't just magic that away. You can't pop a pill and all of a sudden it's gone. Like... Please do yourself a favor and save, save the money. Now, if you are self-conscious enough and you feel the need, you can go get surgery for it, which I'm not, I have no passion to do. Um, the loose skin at first bothered me a little bit, but like I've said multiple times now, I look at it like my suit of armor. I look at it like an accomplishment. Like, look what I did. Look what I did. Rem and, and it kind of helps make me remember where I once was. Like, you know, don't do what you did before or else this is going to fill back up again. And that's not what we want. So now... I have a couple of spots that at first I thought was like um, related to gynecomastia, which is like something that either people that take steroids get, and I've never taken those, 
Um, mine came directly from poor, poor eating habits and being massively overweight my whole life. So, the spots where I feel like I may have that, I'm not even 100% sure on that anymore because, like, in my chest, they're, uh, you know, you get man boobs. Like, let's be honest. Well, I thought that I had gyno there, but since I've done more with trying to do a body transformation, they've, like, flattened out. So it's just loose skin now. Um, and I have a spot at the bottom of my stomach where all of the loose skin kind of collects, I don't, I don't know how the, the word for it, but like, it's where it sags the most. Um, and it makes it look like, at times it makes it look like I still have a little bit of a belly, and I don't. I know that now. I, I don't know what I'm at specifically percentage-wise body fat, but I mean, I'd say it's safe to say I'm definitely under 15%. I'm probably closer to 10 right now, 10 or 11 around there. Um, it's harder to really say when you're, uh, when you have so much loose skin but, like, I'm starting to see the definition in my, and the striations in my shoulder come back again. And when I'm lifting, there's some things that are popping that disappeared for a while. Because I, I don't want to say I was like, I don't know the word really. I was, I was, I was eating a little too many calories for a little bit and I put on a few pounds and it wasn't anything like dramatic um, I just started creeping up over 190 and was getting I think it was like I got to like 192 or something like that um, and that was the one thing I told myself was you're not getting over 200 again unless you're you know pure friggin' muscle. You are not getting two or over 200 pounds again. Um, and I'm sticking to that. So, you know, probably closer to the beginning of summer, I went on a little bit of a, I don't even want to call it a mini cut, but more of just a body transform. And cut my calories down a bit because I was eating over 3,000 for a while um, and I wasn't putting on a ton of like body fat like that and I wanted to just get back to you know not all the way down to 153 but just drop my body weight down a little bit helps with running and I want to be able to see the muscles a little better. So, we're uh, gonna wrap it up there. I appreciate everyone for giving me their time. It really means a lot. The interaction is great. Go ahead and hit that like, comment, if you want to see anything specifically. We'll be doing a full day of eating soon. Once I get my, uh, once I, I just got to get it all planned out so that I can record it and everything appropriately. Um, but yeah, until then, have a good one. Um, click the like button, subscribe if you want to see more. I appreciate everything. Until then, I'm out.